Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The group that led the fight against Indiana's same-sex marriage ban and religious freedom law is turning its eyes on local communities around the state. Freedom Indiana is shifting its focus from the General Assembly to the local level. About a dozen cities and counties have ordinances prohibiting discrimination against the LGBT community. In a statement, Freedom Indiana campaign manager Katie Blair says she wants her organization to increase that number, offering resources to help draft language that protects LGBT rights. State law doesn't provide those protections either, and Blair says her group will still push for that to change next legislative session. Governor Mike Pence today signed a bill that will establish a firefighter training academy. Police departments in Indiana have had a centralized training academy for years, but fire departments have no equivalent. The legislature has not determined exactly how it will fund the academy, however. Some of the money will come from a fee on the sale of fireworks. The legislature could decide to allocate additional money in two years during the next budget cycle. And Indiana University is now home to a collection of seven oil paintings by two Indiana artists. These works, six of which were painted by impressionist T.C. Steele, were given to IU as a gift from One America. The paintings were appraised at $500,000. Steele, who in 1922 became the university's first artist in residence, is often recognized for his landscapes. University officials say that they're still in the process of determining the best location for displaying the paintings. And now a quick check of the weather forecast for tonight. Clear lows down to 30 and in the five-day forecast, rain tomorrow, an 80% chance of thunderstorm, 61 the high, 58 by Saturday. Partly cloudy conditions return on Sunday with highs up to 60 degrees. More news online at WTIUnews.org.